Nick teaming is a terminology that you may not have heard too much in the Windows Server circles, but you're going to hear about it now because it is a new feature in Windows Server 2012, and you can bet it'll show up in some form on the exam. Now, the reason we're even talking about Nick teaming is that Windows Server 2012 has been designed to offer cloud-based server functionality. It's one of the big marketing points. And so Nick teaming, or Network Interface Card Teaming is part of that functionality. It is, like I said, a new feature in Windows Server 2012 that makes it a strong candidate to show up on the exam. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple animation of what NIC Teaming is so that you understand how it works and how it can help you, especially when you're dealing with cloud-based services. You need to go out and read about this, maybe even get a little hands-on, before you go take the exam, because right here I'm just exposing what it is, what it works, that may well be enough to get you past the exam here. Now, in Nick Teaming, I've got a server, and I'm connecting to the internet, and I'm offering multiple cloud-based services, and I'm worried about connectivity here. And so I end up installing three network interface cards into my machine, and then those network interface cards obviously connect out to a network probably ending up at the internet. So everything's going great here, but I may have my services mapped to each one of these IP addresses on these cards, and so what happens when this card goes bad? Whatever IP address was on that card and whatever functionality was coming across this connection just got lost, and now these clients are isolated away from the server. Well, I've got three NIC cards. Isn't there a better way to do this? Well, as it works out, there is. I can change that and employ NIC teaming, and now I take those same three network interface cards, and I team them, or I group them, if you want to think of it that way. And now, my connections out to the internet are still there, and this way, when I lose one of my network interface cards, one of the other interface cards can automatically and pick up. Because we don't see but one IP address that's really been exposed out to the internet here. So NIC teaming allows me to utilize three, kind of like in a server cluster, kind of in a failover situation, so that anybody can handle the traffic. It's kind of like load balancing for network interface cards in a little bit different way. So that is what NIC teaming is. That's what it does. Watch for a need for that functionality on the exam. And again, you may want to go out there and just read about this, practice setting it up a time or two, and you should be golden on the exam when it comes to NIC teaming.